Hi everyone. Um, so uh, yes, I'm in my PJs. Uh, do you like them? <laughs> so um, yeah, stupid, very very quick tutorial. Um, I'm sure you've all seen the um, the crackle polishes um, by OPI, Barry M, um, China Glaze, etc., etc. They give you this kind of a look. Now, what I've got on my nails there is uh, Sophie's Pink by, where are we? Sophie's Pink by Model Zone. And I've got two coats of that. Well, let's start with the beginnings. I have um, China Glaze a First and Last. Then I have Sophie's Pink, two, two, two coats of that. And then I have one coat of the Barry M um, crackle polish and then what I'm using is Stargazer's um, like metallic silver because what I want to show you guys how to do today is this sort of silver black crackle effect and um, I happen to think it looks really pretty funky pretty cool um, and it is very very simple so I'm going to show you how today um, it's just a different way of wearing and like variating your Variating, is that even a word? It's just a simple way of doing the crackle polish but with a bit of a difference because I know China Glaze are bringing out a collection I think of different coloured crackle polishes but generally the only one that people are getting hold of these days is the black. So what you want to be doing is you want to make sure all your polish is dry etc and then you want to take your desired colour you really, really, really want to get that brush nice and dry. I mean dry. I mean no, like, you know, excess polish on there whatsoever. Because literally once you've done that, this is going to last you, like, for a whole hand kind of thing. And then because the crackle polish is raised, what you want to do is just very, very, very gently just run the brush over your nail and what you get is the silver or whatever the colour you're going to go for is only picked up by the raised polish which is the black crackle so I'm not even going to dip this into anything again I'm quite literally just going to do this other hand for you guys so I, this is my left hand I'm a little bit more heavy handed with this hand so ah! as well as that happening um, so yeah doesn't have to be a lot either really just depends on how much you want to get on There really is going to be hardly anything on there, I think. I best just go and re, re wet and sort of clean my brush, I think, for this one. And there you have it. Very simple, very effective, let that dry, pop your top coat on, and away she blows. Alright guys, see you soon, bye!